Why is my loading bar going down? What? What does that mean? <laughs> wow. Amazing, ain't it? Just look at this gate. It's like nature meant for us to build a stara right here. <coughs> a stara. I like it. <laughs> the rest of the fifth are already here. You're the last to arrive. Like I said, really impressed. That boat is very, very durable. Okay, set him down here. Take it nice and off your shoulder. Was thrown up out, or was lifted up out of the water by Zora Magdaros, grinded along the side of it to fall off, land back in the water, and continued to sail here. <laughs> That's impressive. We couldn't find you two. We were starting to sweat bullets. He scared us. We were talking about going out to look for you. <laughs> All's well that ends well. Hey, we need a hand. Sorry. Come on. Catch you later. <laughs> this here is our trade yard. I guess the name says it all. Look at all the people. The stuff. Incredible, right? We've got it all here. We've got hunters to do all the exploring, scholars to do the research, <coughs> technicians to keep them going. This place is the beating heart of the commission. Wait here a sec. Commander, I found him. Welcome to Astera. So like I said, we've been watching the cutscenes because they have no choice, but I'm going to skip through all this stuff. Okay, I'll give you the grand tour. Mainly up until I reach uh, the point where I left off on my actual this original playthrough, which was the Kulu Yaku, I believe. You should drop by later to see what they have. Come on, keep going. Next is Faster. the Smith. It's this way. So, again, we're going to be blowing through it. Uh, we'll go more in depth with all this stuff later. Uh, I'm going to do individual little videos for each area. Uh, giving a better, more clear, <laughs> better, more clear, giving a more clear description and explanation of them than I originally did. <laughs> as long as my mouth works right. Never even been to the old world. So again, I think it's something I briefly talked about before. It makes me wonder how long they've been here. Obviously, it's been a while to have all Here's this built mission. up, this but they also apparently build like the Great Wall of China in a night, or something like the Great Wall of China in one night in this game. So, or they they don't properly represent uh, time changing. It's toasty in here. Next up is the canteen. Let's check it out. Yeah, we'll talk to everybody later, like I said. The canteen? Oh, I am so there. Hmm. Over here. And here we go. This is a pretty cool little canteen. It'd be awesome to have like an actual restaurant like this. This here's our canteen. Hey, over there. His grumpiness. Hey, you. <laughs> I knew you pulled through. Right. Calling for a council. Come on. Yeah. Okay, come on. Now that you are all here, 
After tracking the fifth fleet, there are five. Yeah. Like Thank you, sir. This here is the commission's yeah. core team. You should all get to know each other. Looking for now, the latest mo research. Elder Dra altering once every day. With the fifth's help, we will find the missing link. Here, here. Now what? Hunters, start by inv right. We're up. Everyone else, you know the drill. Make sure these hunters have everything they need. Now we're talking. You two. You heard him. The fifth band. All right. Dismissed. All right. That's done. Hmm. Over here. And we got our first mission. First, we need to go to our house or living quarters. And uh, it, it makes perfect sense to have the living quarters in its own separate little area, but it really sucks to have to go through a loading screen, especially because there's some mechanics that are behind it. So, having to sit through, oh, excuse me, an additional loading screen really just sucks. We've placed some basic gear for you in that equipment box. Make sure to choose a weapon that suits you. Change equipment. Exit. Yeah, so you start off with uh, whether what, whatever armor you chose, leather or chainmail. Uh, oh, I said it had like a... Oh, defense is 11 altogether. Yeah, it only has like a defense 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. Oh, one of them must have a defense of 3. No? Does my... Why do I have 11 defense? Where am I getting a one point of defense from? Because the headpiece is two. Wait a minute, does something have... Yeah, five pieces of armor, defense rating of two, that's 10. My defense is 11. Why am I getting, it's not a big deal at all like it like one point doesn't it won't make a difference in any way but it's just random like where's that one point coming from I guess you have to have a base defense of one with no armor or else maybe having a defense of zero breaks the game so you always have one point and then with the 10 up from the armor it gives you 11 I guess huh but anyways uh, if you start with chainmail again it has a uh, Two, piece, uh, two defense for each piece uh, but I think it changed the resistance changes like this one's for good against fire I think the other one's good against water or ice I'm not sure uh, but that's well let's check yeah it's good against water and of course defender's good against everything except water and thunder but it has a defense of 50 with skills uh, we'll get into skills more a bit later uh, but Oops, I forgot to actually pick up my weapon. Like always, going to the charge blade. My favorite weapon. Love this weapon so much. And I also am going, going to going? give a more a better tutorial of the weapon. Uh, I did do one tutorial video for it, and it, it, it just there waiting with a quest. was very sloppy. I'm going to do it again. Your weapons at the training area. Just talk to the housekeeper to get started. Let's talk to the housekeeper. I've got all sorts of stuff that you can do. Yeah. Oh, I can't claim anything yet. Uh, so let's go ahead. Yeah, go talk to the handler and get the very first mission knocked out. So we can go ahead and craft slightly better equipment. And it'll give us access to a couple other things. So that when I start doing the tutorial videos, I can just knock out a bunch of all that once. Handlers sort through the research commission's leads, and the ones they deem worth our attention become quests. So the best way to get around this place is right here with the lift. You can take the stairs like we did, going everywhere. Uh, there's a stairwell over there. Uh, there's a stairwell right there, and I think there's another stairwell. Can't remember. No, maybe it's just those two. Yeah, just that one and that one. Uh, but the lift is much faster. You can get to every location 
uh, with it. Uh, some people want to talk to us, but go ahead and do that. This video is about to be, end up being really short, and I want it to be too short. Uh, just knock out this. Now that's hunting. BS. He doesn't really say anything important. <laughs> the stockpile. I'll go ahead and talk about this one real quick since I'm here. It doesn't really need a full tutorial. So this is obviously where you buy and sell uh, from item box or pouch. You can literally sell everything uh, except for weapons. Uh, a nice little boost to money at the early game is if you don't want to use any weapons, just sell all of this. Uh, some of the stuff is worth a good bit. Um, some of it's not, but yeah, you can get a, a little boost of money early on selling all that stuff. Uh, oh, and you can also sell from items from your pouch too, uh, which I'm not going to do. But to buy, uh, you can either buy stuff and send it to your pouch or to the box. Always send it to the box. Uh, all you're going to do is clutter your pouch and have to drop things off anyways. Um, so unless it's, there, there's, there's like three, or there, there's a couple exceptions. Mm -hmm. But for the most part, you want to send everything to your box. Uh, as time goes, as you complete uh, story achievements, or yeah. Um, uh, as you increase your ranking and hit story mark, or I can't think of the right word. Certain points mm -hmm. in the story, uh, his inventory will expand. Um, the main thing you're going to buy that he sells is ammo. You can buy all the ammo you want. Uh, of course, it's still better to craft because buying <laughs> ammo can get fairly expensive. Handler, shut the hell up! You're almost worse than mm -hmm. you're, you're worse than Na than Navi. Um, the main thing you're going to be buying from uh, the stock provisions guy is trap tools and barrels. Uh, because you can't craft these. Um, well, you can craft a barrel bomb, but you need small barrels to craft a barrel bomb. And large barrels you can't craft. You need those to craft, though. So pretty much the, those three things are going to be the main things you buy. Uh, also, Astera Jerky. So those are going to be the four things. Mm -hmm. Astera Jerky, you can't find anywhere. You can't make it. Uh, and it is rel it's important for a couple bosses or a couple monsters later in the game. You don't need to worry about buying it now, but it's useful for later. Um, <clears throat> but, like I said, we're not going to worry about any of that. For now, we're just going to move on. Handler, shut the hell up. Go to the canteen where she's at. Let's go ahead and talk to the meowscular chef. I'm not sure. We, I'm not even sure what he says, but it, it's not important. Almost everything they say is pointless. Alright, so the our first mission. Uh, yeah, screw it. I'll just keep this in here. I was thinking about making it separate, its own separate video. Uh, nah, screw it. I'll make it its own separate video. That's going to wrap up this video. Uh, really wasn't much to show. Just uh, a tour of the area and where your weapons and stuff are at. That's pretty much it. You... At, I, I wouldn't stress too much about anything until after this mission. Uh, after this mission is when you start getting access to other stuff. And, uh, that, like I said, that's when the main tutorials are really going to start coming in. So I'll see you next time.